Hi, in this video, we'll see all the options that you have to create a room in Magic Plan. Let's start right away creating a new project. So we tap on the plus, we add a floor, and then we tap on insert room. And we start with the first option, which is the LiDAR auto scan. Little additional note for this feature to work, you need iOS 17 at least and an iOS Pro device. Let's start. Here you have some tips to scan your room. After tapping on the red dot, you can go ahead. I selected a room that's not too big, so you can see also in a situation like this that everything works. So you can scan your walls your furniture as you can see here and then you just move around your room here we have a little window that will be scanned too in some seconds so here it is let me speed it up a bit Okay, everything seems to be scanned. We stop the uh, scanning. If everything is green, the room has been, let's say, correctly scanned. And as you can see here, we have our room ready to be edited. Now, let's have a look at another feature, which is the uh, second option that you will find on your um, room creation menu, which is the uh, manual scan. And how does it work? exactly like this we can take a look we insert a room and second option manual scan we select the room type and we go ahead this is the same room we can use this feature scanning basically all the walls with this green scanning feature so you will see where you are going and what walls have been scanned also this teeny tiny bathroom has been scanned properly then you can scan the openings and if you want also the electrical outlets on the bottom you can change the uh, door type window type and so on and voila the room is ready to be edited in this case without furniture right let's also see this same feature to scan a room but using the uh, corner option so if you're not comfortable in using this wall detection you can use another workaround, manual scan, and on the right you see the option wall that you will deactivate, right? There it is, wall mode, you just tap on it and the line will appear so you can go from corner to corner. Also, if you have some furniture, you can tap on auto as I did here so you can place the corner manually. There it is, you tap on done once you're back to the first corner where you started you scan the ceiling so the app knows that the scanning has been done for the room and you go ahead you can scan your doors your windows and you're ready to go ahead and work on your project now we can take a look also at the other features that we have to create a room let's imagine that we have a uh, floor plan that we created with pen and paper and we want to digitalize it in magic plan we simply tap on insert room and we start with the last option import and draw i will tap there and select a photo from my photo library that i will import there it is little important step we have to set the scale so simply select a wall or a measurement that you can see to set the scale so the app knows more or less how big is the uh, project Okay, once you're happy here with the uh, scale, we tap on done and we say, okay, in my case, I want to set the scale to 2 meters 50 and I tap on set scale length. Now, how does it work? We simply go ahead with insert room and we select one of the other options. I would say define corners in this case and we add the uh, kitchen. I tap on the first corner and I go ahead a tap on the others and voila once i'm happy with my room i can also hide the image that i imported without exiting the room i tap on insert and add another room for example here add a square room and it could be a bathroom 
If we want to move it, we tap on Edit Layout and we can move it around like this. Then we could also insert some other rooms. Let's add a Define Corners room, for example, a living room. We can do like this. As you can see, you can also create a room with an irregular shape. There you go. And let's insert another room, a square room again, and we call it bedroom. Okay. We tap on edit layout. We move it down here. Now you see that I left two spaces because I want to show you something more. We tap on insert room and here at the bottom, you now see another option called insert a filler. Let's select that. We can insert a filler wall. We position this arrow, for example, here. What does it mean? This is a space that you're not using as a living space. It could be that you have some pipes in there, but you're not going to walk around this area. If you don't like it like this, you can also color it with a different color and make it black. Now let's fill in also these other space left here. So we tap on insert room. We select insert a filler and filler room. I look for the room type that I need. I would need here a hallway. We position the arrow in the space and we let it go and voila. If you're happy with this, fine. Otherwise, if we want to edit it, we enter the room and you can see you can resize it as usual. And that's it. These are all the options that you have to create a room. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support at magiplan.app.